I'm in my yak, I wanna dance, I'm on that yak, I wanna dance Hey friends, welcome to a makeup beginner tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to easily do your makeup in 12 easy steps. Okay, this is me here, bare face. I'm going to show you how to do it from beginning to end, especially if you don't know where to start. This is the video for you. Okay, first step is the eyebrows. Uh, my first advice to you guys is to learn how to do your eyebrows first because it can be a little hard to learn how to get it the way you would like but the way I do it is I just follow the direction of my eyebrow hairs and I just basically shade it in to give it a fuller look and also use this spoolie to also help with that and not make it and make it look more natural than dark and boxy but however you like your eyebrows is basically your preference and you can find these eyebrow pencils and spoolie at any store okay now we're going in with this born this way concealer yes and we're going to be concealing the eyebrows so what i like to do is i put it under my eyes and then i'm gonna spread it all over my um eyelids because i'm gonna do an eyeshadow look and i just blend that in and then i'm gonna go in with an angle brush to help perfect my eyebrows the way i like to do it and guys i would say spend some time practicing this and also take your time when you're doing it because like i said it's based on how you want your eyebrows to look i like my ends to look like nice and sharp and then the rest to just be full and just like really clean and while I was recording this video, I was listening to some music. That's why I decided to do a voiceover. So if you're spending the time learning how to do your makeup, put on your favorite song or something and just get into it. Next, we're going in with my favorite primer, Milk, and I've had this for a minute. So the way I use my primer is I put it anywhere where I, I'm very oily at because it helps with the oil control. If you have oily skin, this is the best primer for you. Now we're going to use this new foundation that I bought at Walmart, which was $3. And I just really like it because it's more liquidy. And it doesn't give me really a matte look, but a more natural foundation look. And I'm just going to be spreading it around my face. And for all my dark skin girlies, I think you guys should check out this foundation out because I'm really into it and I really like it. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush, love this e.l.f. brush to blend. So it's like, it is basically a blending brush and I'm telling you the best blending brush I ever spent money on. It was 25, it was worth the 25, y'all. Look at that blend. Okay, I'm going in with the same concealer to conceal under my eyes to give me a highlight look, of course, cause I love that um, under eye highlight look. And then other areas is for basically contouring. Let's not do too much on the stinging though. But next, we, I'm going in with my blending brush and I'm going to blend all that in. And one thing you really want to get skilled at is blending. And when I tell you blending, is because it blends. When you know how to blend good, girl, your makeup will always come out good, especially if you mess up a little bit. But yeah, get you a blending brush. These are blending sponges, which are really cheap and you can find them anywhere. I'm just basically blending all of that in. Next, I go in with my contouring. Basically, contouring is basically whatever, wherever you want to contour your face. I do my forehead to give my makeup a more natural look. And you know, you see that five head. And I do my nose to make my nose look a little bit more minim minimized and cute and a kind of pointy, but not like extremely pointy. And then I use my blending brush to blend that top forehead in. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder and basically you would just apply this powder to anywhere you applied your concealer and I applied my concealer under my eyes, my chin, my nose and of course the middle of my forehead and I'm just here fixing my eyebrows a little bit. You know like I said just um, everything's basically how you want to look and most of the time you're going to do touch ups and most of the time I do touch ups so I'm basically touching up my brows. But just gonna, I'm gonna let that sit it, sit on my face a little bit before I dust it off. And um, the powder actually helps sets the concealer as well, and basically helps give him a more highlight look on your face too.
Now we are dusting off the extra powder that is not needed, yes. And I'm just dusting it off at an angle to help also with my um, blush and how I want my cheekbones to appear. But now I'm going back in and blending that in. Okay, now we're going to be adding the blush. Yes, I love me a cute blush. A uh, word of advice for dark skin color or woman of color, I would go for a more pinky or lighter blush to so it can appear more and give you that rosy look. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyeshadow. So I do use a brown in this dark reddish color. The brown is to match my skin color because it's a natural makeup beat. And the dark red color is to give it some color. And it blends so well with the blush. Now I'm going to do my mascara. This is an option. You can either put extensions in or you could just put mascara on like I do. I like to keep my natural makeup look simple no lashes and next i'm just gonna do my favorite lip line combo and you can do any lip line combo or you can just go ahead and throw in the lip gloss it's really up to your preference and lastly setting spray of course you know because setting spray sets the makeup it helps it last all day and there we go that is my natural makeup beat i hope it was easy for you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you again Mwah. I'm in my act. I wanna dance. I'm on that yak. I wanna dance. Come get your man.